Today is October 13, 2022, and I am Tony the Bull back with another technical analysis update for News BTC. At 8.30 a.m. ET this morning, updated consumer price index figures were released to the public, prompting a sharp sell-off in Bitcoin in the stock market. Within a couple hours later, all intraday losses were recaptured in a swift move. Consumer prices rose 0.4% in September and were up 8.2% year over year. The fact that inflation isn't waning could prompt the Fed to further raise interest rates in November and December. Recent rate hikes clearly aren't having much impact in curbing inflation. Today's move in Bitcoin tapped the lower Bollinger Band but was quickly bought up after traveling outside it. Had BTCUSD been ready to break down, touching the lower band would have been the time. Instead, price action snapped back. With the Bollinger Band squeezing, volatility should be released soon enough, and after today's defense, the probability of a move up just increased significantly. Today's daily close making it above the middle Bollinger Band would further improve the chances for more upside. On daily timeframes, the LMACD has crossed bearish on BTCUSD spot index and other spot exchanges. Meanwhile, CME BTC price charts are still bullish and showing signs of diverging upward. Discrepancies in the LMACD between spot index and CME Bitcoin futures in the past have been notable. During the 2021 second peak at 68k, spot Bitcoin exchanges had crossed bullish, while CMA traders narrowly avoided the bull cross. The discrepancy happened at the exact top of the bull run. On the way down, ahead of the Luna collapse, there was also another discrepancy between spot exchange and CME futures using the LMACD. Spot once again flipped bullish, while CME stayed bearish the entire time. One thing is for certain, the weekly LMACD on both Spot and CME are exactly the same. However, price action is not. CME was closed when we had a wick down to 17500 This means that today's low swept all previous lows and might potentially have enough downside for a fifth wave on the CME chart. Because lows were swept on CME Bitcoin futures, it was enough movement to trigger a perfected TD9 buy setup on weekly timeframes using the TD sequential. This signal hasn't perfected on BTC USD spot charts, which makes me cautious of weekend price action unless Bitcoin can continue to rebound starting today. The perfected TD9 buy setup happened at former failed TD9 sell signals and a cluster of support that coincides with Bitcoin's former all-time high. If it can stage a recovery here, the level might end up holding permanently. That's it for today's analysis. I'm Tony the Bulls Pelotro signing off. Self-education is the best investment you can make. Remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and check out newsbtc.com.